technology can and will change whoever isn't strong enough to command it. That explains your own aggression, Layla. I'm still me. I'm not as weak as you think I am. Let's go. Τα φτώχεια τη δούλη. 
τους νέους διδάσκεστε τα επιμηχανήματα αυτής ή να η EPC αναγνωρίζει τα αυτά. This is it. That must be Amphiris. Why so many guards? Let her pass. Amphiris, if this is how you treat humans, I can see why you need so many guards. These aren't humans. They are animals. An animal should be in cages. I'm sure everything you do isn't without reason. But if you didn't call them animals, you might get a better reaction. A human did this to me while I slept. When they came to kill me, I survived. But they slaughtered my daughter like an animal. Humans don't act with logic or reason. Good or bad, they are driven by a will to survive. A trait we implanted to ensure efficiency. But that will become a kindled flame of insurrection. You led a rebellion yourself in Elysium. So I know you understand. If we don't act, the city will burn and many more lives will be lost. I don't see an army marching on Poseidon. This one said they plan to launch an attack. Someone needs to destroy the resistance before that happens. That's not a small request. Despite what you think, all the humans aren't a threat. It is the only path I see. But you are the Dicastis. Only you can choose the correct course of action. Killing people will just make the fire spread faster. Now, if we destroy their supplies and their weapons, they can't oppose the issue. I admire your optimism. But I fear it would not be enough. 
However, it's your decision to make. Just leave it to me. I'll send a message they won't forget. Very well. You'll find the traitorous humans at an abandoned farmstead. Return to me when the situation is resolved. They'll be watching for me. I need to be careful. Castis, I'm glad to see you return safely. I almost considered sending a regiment of my guard after you. That would have been overkill. You can never be too careful when dealing with violent humans. Come, tell me, has the resistance been quashed? I destroyed their supplies and equipment. You believed you saved lives by being merciful. But the truth is that more will die in the end. I promise you, they're no threat. You underestimate them. Yes, you've taken their means of striking now. But they will regroup and find more weapons. All you have done is delay the inevitable. Maybe I should just do their jobs too.
Ah, the Castis. I heard you can help me with the solar floral regeneration project. Uh, the what? Oh, forgive me. Let me start from the beginning. I'm Neocles, an Imperial botanist here in Atlantis. I'm engineering a way to aid floral regrowth. The flowers here can't just grow on their own? Oh, no! You're not one of those followers of Minerva, are you? Slow down. Why don't you just tell me what it is you need from me? Oh, apologies, Nicastis. You're new to Atlantis, and I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me begin. Basically, the plants are a key resource for us here. But a few cycles ago, humans overpicked them, and now the air is suffering. You want to grow more? In a sense, yes. I have a hypothesis, a theory that using a natural power source stronger than the sun will promote sustainable growth. You're losing me again. There are devices that project beams of light around the Garden of Triton. Redirecting them using the reflective surfaces would stimulate floral regrowth. You want me to move your lights? Yes! A Dicastis taking care of our natural resources would send a message to all of Atlantis. A good message, I hope. It looks like all the light beams need to hit that central structure. the device now Chris mentioned. Reminds me of how I opened the door to Atlantis. down.
should get the flowers growing in no time. Tell Neoclis it's done. <sighs> that doesn't seem good. What happened? <sighs> I moved your light beams. Seem to be working, but then... The beams are aligned, yes, but the power isn't running. What do you think the problem is? Uh, none of this makes any sense. The light beams should expand across the gardens and present with enhanced photons. There might be something wrong with your theory. I still don't see how this light is any better than the sun. The sun! That's it! The power source must also be displaced, rendering this light no different than the sun. No wonder you're the Dicastis. That's brilliant! So the next step is? Go to the control room and make sure the power source isn't displaced. And what exactly is this source? An igneous matter consisting of imperial... <sighs> it's a rock. Just make sure there's a rock in the control room. <sighs> Fine. I'll go see if this rock is there. Neoclis was right. There is no rock here. <gasps> hey! Stop right there! Get back here! Oh, Malaka! Castis doing attacking people. I'm chasing down a thief. Looks like you're the one who took Neoclis's rock. My name is Melita. I'm an environmental biologist, not a thief. Neoclis has no claim to a natural power source like this.
That rock must be worth a lot if you're trying to steal it. You're the Dicastis and you have no idea what the power source is? Aren't you invested in the future of our resources? It's easy. Put the rock in Neoclis' device and we'll fix the flowers. This isn't Neoclis' first attempt at population balancing. When the flowers were overpicked and the bees started dying, first he attempted to artificially pollinate the flowers. When he artificially pollinated the flowers, the soil degraded. When the soil... I get the idea. But then, how would you fix the gardens? I wouldn't. Nature has been healing itself for eons. Neocles needs to stop meddling. Melita! You've always been obtuse about the project. No accountability for civilization's impact on the ecosystem. Insanity is trying the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. When will you accept your hypothesis has failed? Failed is inaccurate terminology. I simply adjusted my theory after experiencing unintended results. Enough bickering, both of you. You're right. I wanted to destroy the power source to end his project once and for all. But as the Dicastis, it should be your decision. All right, give me the rock. I'll end this once and for all. Are you mad? You've completely annihilated our chances at future sustainability! Trust in yeah. Nature will heal itself if you allow it. <coughs> Thank you, the Castis. This is the right direction to go in. We might not see improvements right away, but the gardens will heal themselves. <laughs>